Welcome back to part two of our Unstackable Item Sorter series. Let's go. So, in the second episode of this Unstackable Item Sorter series, we're going to look at how to sort out all of your buckets, meaning lava buckets, water buckets, and all of the fish buckets from your other unstackable items. Now, before we get into this first sorter over here to sort out the water buckets, I recommend you go watch the first video in the series so you'll know all of the basics, for example, how this circuit back here works, and so on in general. You're going to understand a lot more that way. Now, let's get on with this video. So, this over here is the sorter, and now let's just go ahead and test it out. So, down here I've prepared a chest full of random unstackable items and water buckets. So, let's just take the chest with NBT data, NBT data, sorry, and place it up here. So, what is this machine going to do? Well, this circuit over here is going to try to place every single item into this block here, or dispense it, to be more exact. Meaning, if it's a water bucket, it's going to place the water right here, otherwise it's going to shoot out an item or do nothing at all. Now, if it shoots out an item or does nothing at all, the item ends up down in this chest over here. As you can see, we don't have a single water bucket down here. Now, if we do dispense the water, then the bucket that remains in here gets taken over here, gets sorted out over here, and put back up on top over here. Now, the water down here gets picked up by this dispenser over here with one of the buckets from up top here and gets pushed down into this chest, thereby being sorted out. Now, there is only one small little tiny problem with the sorter in this form right here. So, if you have your little fishy here in your bucket and you throw it in here and you throw it through the sorter, well, your little fishy gets plopped out of its bucket and eventually dies. So, yeah your fish is just going to end up like this and you can feed it to your cat. Meaning, your fish are all going to die. Now, there is one way to go around this little problem here, and that's by simply placing two glass blocks here and by placing a trapdoor on top here. Now, if we take our little fishy 2.0 and throw that little fishy 2.0 through the sorter, well, now that fish is going to pop out right up here and it's going to survive right up here in this little water tank here. Now, if you want to come down here and pick up your little fishy again, you just come here, take a water bucket, and pick him up again. And there you have your little fishy 2.0. Well, and with that up here, fish buckets are not a problem either, meaning with this machine we can successfully sort out all of our fish buckets and water buckets from our main junk items or unstackable items or whatever you want to call it. Now, with lava buckets, it's a bit more difficult in some ways, but also the exact same thing again. Now, with lava buckets, you have to build the same sorter again, only this time you have to build it after that sorter. So after you've sorted out all of your fish and all of your water buckets, you can build the same sorter again, only without iron bars right here. Now, another thing to be careful with this lava bucket sorter here is that shulker boxes are going to break it. So don't put any shulker boxes in here. Now. What this sort is going to do, after you sorted out all of your lava, uh, water buckets, you're going to be left with something like this. So let's take this chest here and place it on top over here on this sorter. And oh, I'll go past that block, land on the block, and see what happens. So now you can see everything gets expensed out or not expensed out with the flint and steel. And the lava buckets get picked up by this over here. I accidentally picked up a shovel here, which I did not mean to do, so let's throw that one back in there and take a look at the output. So as you can see, down here we have all of our lava buckets, and back here we have all the rest of the items. So, now the only thing that's left to do is to show you how to build this whole thing block by block. So, let's do that now. Now, first of all, of course, we're going to start with our blue circuit again here. Now, that's just, of course, the dispenser, and then... The ingoing hopper line and of course an outgoing hopper line over here. Let's just put it right here and make it pretty long over here so we won't have to make it any longer a bit later. Now, just finish this off over here 
and there we go. Now we have the input line, the first output line, and now it's time for the first circuit back here. So in the first episode, we already built this a bunch. So it's just the standard circuit like this, this, this. That one on two ticks, which is very important because otherwise it's not going to work. And again, down here, redstone dust, repeater, and the torch. And of course, this time we're going to use a piston instead of instead of the normal golden rail that we always used in the first video, because if we build this water tank on top of here, we cannot have a rail on the side here. We're going to need a full block. And a piston can also update the dispenser. Now, next up, we're going to start with this circuit down here. So that's the circuit that's going to pick up the water again, or the lava in that case. So let's just take all that stuff over here, and of course the iron bars because we're going to build the water variant and yeah the other variants are basically the same thing just yeah either there's something else there or there's nothing there and so on now so hopper line down here output then input line and now gotta be careful that hopper up here has to face in that direction because otherwise it's going to push down automatically and we do not want that in this case of course normally you really want that but here we're not going to need it so just continue down here. Now here from here we can count one, two, three, then up and over. So here we can place the torch, here two of those, then we're gonna need a comparator to see if the bucket in here is full. That's why we need this. So if the bucket is empty, then we're just gonna have a really weak signal. If the bucket is full, the signal is gonna be just strong enough to turn off this torch here. And therefore unlocking all of those hoppers. Now we can, of course, put this one down here. And I just hope we're on the right level. And nope, we're one too high, meaning we're going to have to put this down one. And yeah, I mean, that doesn't really matter if you have that line over there or over here. It just takes a little bit less redstone if you have it over here. So let's put it there and take this one down here. And of course, don't forget, this has to go over here because redstone can't travel through the sides of blocks unless it's a transparent block on top of there. So now that's the blue circuit here. So this circuit is going to send in a new bucket into this dispenser once the old bucket is filled up and pull out the old bucket. So next we're going to place a block here and start on the other circuit over here, the circuit that detects when a water bucket has been placed or a lava bucket. So to do that, we're going to take a new color and well, place a block here, place an observer here, two blocks there and two blocks down below. Repeater going into that block and some redstone dust up here. And that's that circuit done. Now next up, we're going to need a little chest. And let's just grab that real quick. Chest and of course hoppers and all the stuff for this circuit over here. So this one we're going to build green. Now, what will this circuit do? Well, this circuit is simply going to transport the used buckets, so the empty buckets that sped the water out from this dispenser are going to get recycled here and put back up there. And to vertically transfer items, we're going to need this. Well, let's just call it a hopper tower right here. Or dropper tower, sorry, not hopper, dropper, of course. And now here it's important you have to use droppers and not dispensers. Well, of course, they're cheaper, and you might run into some issues if you use dispensers. So let's just do that. Then the drop, uh, hopper line. Now this time, hopper line going over there. Then, of course, your basic redstone clock here, compared to clock, meaning if every time this thing here has something in it, this thing is going to fire like crazy. And yeah. So, oh, and build this on the wrong side because otherwise we're going to have a problem with this thing over here. So let's build it over here and take it down here, repeater here, and block here, redstone dust on top. And now we're going to have to take this up here now. Three blocks here, then one out, and up again, all the way over here, and one block up, and redstone on top of all of that. Now, this might look a little bit janky here, but... It's the best way I found to power all of those droppers whilst not interfering with anything over here and whilst not interfering with these hoppers up here. So we need one more thing before we're done and that's the unstackable item sorted down here because we only want to send empty buckets up again and not anything else. 
So for that, we're going to need another redstone torch. And we're going to build the unstackable item sort of that we built back there in the first episode, of course. So that's really easy. So it's just blocks like this. And then, of course, the normal output line here. So this is where every item that's not stackable is going to go, meaning everything except empty buckets are going to go end up out here. And the empty buckets are going to go back in there and get sent back up into that chest up there. So to build, finish building this little sword here, just redstone torch here, repeat it down there, to redstone dust and one comparator. And that would be the whole sorter done. Now, just one thing remains, and that's to grab some empty buckets and, well, put a couple of stacks in here. You don't need that many. Actually, one stack would be totally enough, but it's better to put it in a couple more than to have, well, to not have enough. Now, next we need to put one bucket in this dispenser and one bucket up in this hopper right here. Now, you can also, if you want, try and put one hopper in any other, dis uh, uh, one, sorry one bucket in any other hopper right here, but it's always going to end up in this dispenser here, and we do not want that. We only want one bucket in here and one bucket up here. And then we would be done with the base form. Now, if you want to turn this into the lava sorter, you just take out this one here. Well, that triggers that uh, observer here and then triggers that dispenser, which we normally do not want. So let's just place it in again and then put our one bucket back in here. Now, the other thing that I already showed you was to make the fish tank up here. So for that, you're just going to need glass, spruce planks, and a water bucket. So if you want to do that, you just place glass here and here, then the water bucket and the trapdoor in here. And you have the fish preserving water sort. So anyway, if you did not check out the first episode already, please be sure to check out that one because there you're going to see all those simple sodas back there. Now. If you've already watched the first episode and this second one, then be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the third episode, because then we're going to take a look at shear sorting, flint and steel, and shulker boxes. So, anyway, please leave a like, comment down below what else you want to see me doing, and thanks for watching. Bye!